Yeah, I was uh, seeing if I was still good for this Sunday for a check in. You should be good. Let me double check. What's your last name? It's uh, Dodds, D O D D S. Patrick? Yes. Maybe checking out on Monday. I had a request too, as well. Uh, I heard that there's like uh, some history back on the hotel, too, as well. And there's like a ghost suite there, correct? There is. Yeah, and I was I was wondering if I can stay on the same floor. Like, if, is that, if that's possible, like, to request I that? I can put a request for that. I can't make any guarantees. I can put a request that you would like that. I'll put that in for you. Gotcha, okay. Thank you. So that's Monday to Tuesday? Yes. Gotcha. Okay, that's so weird. I could have swore I booked the hotel for Sunday to Monday because even on my end, it says right here, Sunday. It says Shoreham Hotel right there. I'm most likely just gonna keep it Monday to Tuesday because like I don't want to change stuff. I don't want it to like get out of hands. I want to make sure guarantee like this time we are for sure going to do this. I pushed this thing back three times and we are going to do this. This is going to be a two part video guys. This video right here is basically gonna be the history and us going into the hotel. I'm gonna be posting these two videos within the next week. So today I'm dedicating this whole day to just doing some research on a place. I do not know any history about this place. Only thing I do know is that there is a ghost suite and it's extremely haunted. I believe it's on the fourth floor and that's the floor I'm trying to stay on. And I really hope we can pick up some activity. So let me do my research real quick and I'll come back to you guys. Okay, I found this really cool website that shows you like a bunch of history about the property and stuff like that. So this like tells like everything from like who made it, like when it was made and all this stuff. The idea of the hotel was first conceived by a man named Harry Brawlove, I believe I'm saying his name right, who had a plan to build a combination of temporary and residential living. Brawlove hired a noted architect, Joseph Abel, to build the place. The doors of the Shoreham Hotel opened on October 31st. That's Halloween day. And uh, yeah, let's just keep getting into this. It was built in 1930 with a building cost of $4 million. The opening of On Halloween Night might have been a foreshadowing of the historic hotel's apparent haunting. The strange occurrences have been reported in the rooms where a maid and a young lady died, and thus these rooms have been named the Haunted Ghost Suites. So let's get into detail of like how these people died and just like figure out why it's called the ghost suite and just like what we're gonna be dealing with. I really wanna do this guys, I wanna get the history of the place so I know what I'm dealing with. I'm not just walking in there with a camera and just looking pretty dumb. I wanna know like the history of the place and where exactly where to look. Julia Brown is actually the maid died from natural causes in the hotel room itself. Uh, she died with a phone in her hand. It seemed like she was trying to call somebody, like call for help. Maybe she just got really old. He said a couple years later, Henry's daughter died from overdosing. She died in the same exact room. They say that this room is cursed. The ghost suite is cursed and it actually like manipulates people's minds and makes them like do stuff to themselves. Till this day, they do not let anyone stay in the ghost suite. I actually tried to like get into the ghost suite, but they said it's not available. It's basically just there for show. Yeah, it says right here, Brown woke up uh, one morning, tried to reach the phone to dial a doctor. Bass Bailey told us a few hours later, an engineer noticed the phone line was off the hook and discovered her dead with the phone hanging just inches from her hand. That's pretty creepy. So like, my question is like, why was the phone unhooked? Like, you know the little, you know the phones back in the day when you had to hook them up to the wall? Like, why was that cord unhooked? I'm not saying like it happened, like what if she like strangled herself with that cord or like something strangled her with that cord and then just like took it off or tied it. And it says here, the family left the suite in 1973 after four decades of residence. I don't want to stand there and then not wake up or like Erica has a freaking phone cord around her neck. Let's not have that. Despite this, the hallway around the suite has a number of minor disturbances like moving carts and unexplained breezes, says Bass Bailey. That's what we're gonna look out for. We're gonna see if we can potentially get a cart into the hallway and just like put it somewhere, maybe mark it where it is and just see if it moves at all. Might even try to like record us while we sleep and just see if we can pick anything up. In 1997, the hotel decided to renovate the suite. During renovations, a worker fell to his death from the balcony in the ghost suite. Some of the most superstitious staff members refused to go up there even alone. That just says a lot. So like even non-believers are just like, no, I'm not even gonna like, not even going up there. I'm not even gonna mess with this stuff at all. We have quite a few things to look out for, like carts moving into the hallway near the ghost suite, flickering lights, uh, breezes, and apparently we have kids roaming the hallways as well. So we have already, uh, I believe, three counts of people dying. There's the maid, there's the daughter of Henry, and then there's this also the worker that fell off the balcony. These are all in the ghost suite. That, like, tell me that's just not a coincidence. Many times guests complained that a little girl was running around the halls and an older woman in a long, old fashioned dress roamed the hall. When I read that, I just pictured that girl from uh, Insidious. 
Mike's picture, that is so creepy. Oh my gosh, he got goosebumps from reading this right here. He said there was a worker changing up the carpets in a place and he had a walkie talkie in his back pocket with the antenna sticking up. He said that he felt someone like flick it. You know when you flick an antenna and it just starts moving like that? He said he felt that. He turned around and saw nobody, but then he said when he paid more focus down the hallway, he saw someone's face peeking out from the corner. Yeah, that, that just gave me goosebumps. Okay, so we have a lot here to take in, a lot to expect. And yeah, like I said, we're gonna be doing a full on investigation, 3 a.m. This video right here is just the, the history side. Uh, we're gonna check in with this video too. We're gonna do a daytime walkthrough. We're gonna see how this goes. I'm not a skeptic when it comes to this type of stuff. I believe in this because I've done stuff in the past to where uh, it made me a believer. Potentially, we might even do a seance. We have never done a seance, but like we we know like what the viewers wanna see. They wanna see something happen. Like that's what you guys came here for. You guys wanna see some stuff, right? Let's do this. I'll see if I can check in now. I know the check was at three o'clock. And also requested a room to uh, like closer to the ghost suite. If that's still up there. So it's on the same floor, the room we're gonna have? Okay. Eighth floor? Okay, cool. Okay, awesome. On the eighth floor, I was totally off. It was totally the eighth floor what the ghost suite is, not the fourth. Now Erica's in the back too, by the way. She's kind of tired. Eight, 16, this Eight, 63. Oh yeah. All right, so I think that's the ghost speech straight ahead. Yeah, I don't want to be right next to me. Oh, what the heck? That thing's... Oh, wow, this place is nice, guys. This is our luxury hotel room for tonight. Check out this room, guys. And we got a nice view. Snap. Dang, look at this view. There's DC right there. Uh, what's that door to? I think this is the bathroom. Oh, I think that's another room. Is it? I think that's another person's room. I don't think so. It's not, it's not. Let's keep the AC in. Okay, let's go check out this bathroom. Oh, wow, look at that. That bathroom's nice. Did you flush the toilet? No, it was like the one. Oh, I thought this was a shower. I was trying to like pull back the curtain. Oh, no, no, the shower's over here. I need to take a shower anyways. Dude, like, I want this in my actual house like someday. Right? This is nice. I like that. It's weird. Why is it totally going there? Uh, it's the ghost. It's so pretty. All right, let's test these beds. Is this memory foam? Nope. Not memory foam. So I don't like it. If it ain't memory foam, I don't like it. Not good for my back. I also brought my light too, just in case lighting gets bad later. We got all settled in. Now we're about to go walk around and try to find out what this ghost suite is. Creepy telephone here. There was someone on the phone when I like picked it up. I just picked up that phone and someone was there. I think that was like the front desk. But I didn't hear it ring or nothing. That was weird. Look at these like weird. Like, I don't know. They're not gonna label it like ghost suite, you know? Excuse me. Hello? Where's the ghost suite at? Ghost suite? Yeah. It's 70. It's all, oh, it's not on this floor? That's eighth floor, right? That's this is the eighth floor, yeah. This suite. So it is this way? That's, uh, yeah. That's is the it? ghost suite. It's oh, the, the one on the, mm -hmm. the end? Mm -hmm. Oh. Babe, where'd you go? Thank you. It's down here. Okay, so this is the ghost suite. So our room is right here. And four four rooms down, straight ahead, this is the ghost suite. Oh, what? This one in there? What does that say? It says private residence. Does that mean someone lives here? I guess it's like a penthouse. I think someone has Like it probably has like a kitchen. Like, someone probably lives there. Bring it. Can run away? No. Cheers. All right, we're ringing the doorbell. Who cares? Let's play. Hey, we didn't know anyone lived here. I don't think anyone lived here. Uh, let's just go explore the rest of the hotel, like the outside and stuff. That's weird. Why do they have a doorbell there? Because it's probably like a kitchen, like someone actually lives there. Okay, back on the level floor, and this place is massive. Like. 
You can easily get lost in here. Like, think about this. What if everyone that we saw in this hotel are not even real people? <laughs> they're ghosts. Like, they're all ghosts. Like, how creepy would that be? I think the best thing to do is just go straight into the darkness. What is this? Oh, it's like a phone area. Yeah, like pay phones and stuff. Answer one of them. Hmm? Huh? Pick up one of them. It's so creepy. Just look, random phone, just like chilling here. Like who's outlets. like damn right? Who the hell's gonna come in and just like charge their phone? You know? Maybe it's for when people have like events here because yes. like they're charging. There's station. like no light. Wait, there was another stairs that goes down over here. I don't know if all this stuff is gonna be locked up during nighttime too, because we're probably gonna sleep, take naps like during the day, so we'll be like wide awake at nighttime, because we're still gonna do in our part two that seance. We're gonna see if we can try to reach out and communicate with the people that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. So, it's gonna be interesting. Whoa, what is this? This is the ball room? Yeah, dang. Oh, I hear somebody. Yeah, I think someone's coming. I don't know what to do. Let's go this way. Yeah, I don't think we're allowed to be here. Let's just, let's just walk, I'll walk back. Yeah, you heard that? There was chains jiggling like someone was walking. No, 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 that's not clear. This guy, I don't think we we're supposed to be here. Where would that person go? I heard the chains Maybe like right behind us. Maybe it went that way. No, it was coming from behind us. I don't hear him. I don't know, maybe someone was walking down these stairs right here. Yeah, maybe they were walking down these stairs. The chain sound was echoing out through like the whole hallway. Found the outside pool. It's pretty popping right now, actually. I don't know if we'll swim today, though. And they also play like really old school music in there, too. So it just gives it that like old touch feely vibe. Okay. It's down there. Yeah, I'm it's like confused. you can get lost. Made it outside. Oh my god. Ah, uh, this is pretty. Yeah, I like it. Little fountain here. Someone could totally get married here. I couldn't really get any drone footage for you guys because we are in DC area. It's a class B area. So my drone basically just flew down and landed itself. It's just classified area. Not supposed to fly here, but that's basically all I got for you guys. Sorry if it looked crappy. It just wouldn't let me fly anymore. We're about to go grab some food and I think I'm gonna wrap it up for this part one. We're gonna wait until it gets dark, get some food in our system, get some sleep, and just basically enjoy this time we have here. Cause it is a little getaway for Erica and I. So we're just like, wanted to do something nice, just us two together. I want to vlog it, but honestly, I just want to put the camera down and just enjoy the time with her. Cause like, you know, you don't gotta vlog every single thing guys. You just gotta enjoy the time with your loved one. I'll pick this video up in the part two and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out and deuces. This thing just moves by itself. I don't even touch it. I've never done this before. I've never done a seance so I don't know what to expect. I don't know if we're going to be able to stay the whole night because of what might happen.